How's it going folks? Another video coming up. So we're on our way to go look at a 2016 Honda Rubicon and supposedly it has some damage, some little things that needs tinkering with. So we're on our way. We're going to give it a check. If anything, we'll pick it up and then we'll just do a review once we pick it up. So stay tuned. What's up folks? Another day here. I'm excited. Uh, right behind me is a new project I picked up yesterday, last night. And yeah, it's starting snow, but what I wanted to show you is the condition of this wheeler and what I'm about to do with it. Also, stay tuned, turn on your post notifications, subscribe if you haven't, and just keep up with the content. We should be working on the Wolverine today. Mechanic Rob should be on his way here in a little bit, and we're going to get that busted out. But before he gets here, I figured I'll go ahead and jump on this video, show you what I picked up. Maybe go for a little test drive, clean it up, put it in the garage, and I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm about to do. So just st stay tuned with us. Please turn on your post notifications. Like I said, if you're not following me on Instagram, I post a lot on there. It's all about good times as well, just like the channel name. And please help us grow so we can get better content for you. So here it is. This is what we're looking at. It's a 2012 Honda Foreman 500. It's got like 2,248 miles, I believe. I'll turn on the speed and show it to you. But it is filthy. Basically, these people moved to Texas and their friend had to sell it for them. So I ended up talking them down $2,000. So that's pretty good on my part because what they lost, I'll make. Uh, this thing sticking out right here is the thumb warmer. I haven't tried if it works yet. Uh, I'm not a fan of someone's uh, little caulking job or whatever you want to call this. And uh, there, there's some cracks in the plastics. I'm going to go buy probably Frankenstein fixing that with zip ties. Same here. Like, whoever had this thing, they're, I don't know what, what, what their deal is. Maybe they're like a caulker or something. They just straight up caulked everything. And same on this side. There's a crack. I mean, this one is not as bad. I think I'll be able to fix this one pretty easy. It's pretty filthy. It's dirty. The engine is pretty dirty. It probably hasn't had a bath in a while. So it has like new tires. It has a winch. So far, everything seems to work. Let me crank it up. Right there, 2,248 miles. It is the electric shift. I'm not a fan. I prefer the foot shift over this because sometimes when it's cold or something, these things, you sh they just like to have issues. Also, it has the winch, but this thing is kind of broken off. I'll see what I can come up with. But let's fire this thing up, see how she sounds. I mean, it is a Honda. It started right up. Honda's usually smoked. This one's not smoking, so that's already a good sign. I don't think it's been beat on too much. It's just somebody used it for what it's made for, and they just never washed it. And they even put a sticker saying riding dirty. Well, that explains it's pretty dirty. Wind is picking up, so I apologize beforehand for the quality of the sound on this video. But let's go for a little test drive. I just came from town, but I forgot to get some aluminum brice. So I'll take you guys on a little test drive, and then we're going to get back. And I'm going to run over to the store and get the aluminum brice before the snow picks up heavy. Right now it's 35 degrees, and we kind of got out of the cold snap. So let me take you guys on a little cruise. I'm going to run over to Napa, pick up some aluminum brice. We're going to come back, wash it up, and probably put it in the garage and continue working on it. So far, it drives really good. It doesn't have power steering. You can feel the heaviness of these tires. But I didn't hear any rattles. It's driving good. Everything is going fine. So let's go down this trail. It's in our neighborhood. It's a power line trail. I like to take my machines out, test it out. You know, so that way I know what's, what I to expect with them. If there's anything wrong with them, I can get it fixed.
Foreman 500. I had the Ranchers. They're, they're a little bit weak, but they're kind of fun. So this is my first 500. We went and looked at a Rubicon last weekend. Uh, I'm gonna put that video in this in this video. We didn't end up getting wow, somebody was tearing it up. Uh, we didn't end up getting it. It was a it's pretty rough and everything was wrong with it. Everything that you could possibly imagine being wrong with it was wrong with it. It was in 2016, it was a, it was newer than this. I always wanted to try out the Rubicon. I was a little bummed out about that. But let's get on this power line trail and see what this really boy got. give it that it's just in these power steering it's steering feels real heavy let's see here rub and that's probably how that fender right there got cracked it's like a I don't know what communication place maybe there's a power line trail I got stuck once pretty bad turning around on a forerunner with some ball tires but yeah it's a trail in our neighborhood this thing ain't bad sounds good Headlights work. Oops, that was gear. Headlights work. Let's try the winch. Yeah, it looks like it, the winch works also. But all right, let's get this thing back, and I'm gonna run over to Napa and get that Luma Bright. We're gonna shine this up. I'll show you. All the steps I take on cleaning these up. As you can see, it has like a little bit of rust, a bunch of dirt. I'll show you how to fix all that up. Just stay tuned and watch the video. All right, I'm not sure how well you guys are gonna be able to hear me on this because the wind has picked up, the snow is flying. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more time. I took off, popped off both side panels off. It's filthy underneath here. It definitely needs a wash. So I'm gonna show you how, just keep in mind or take a picture in your mind or however you wanna say it. Just look how dirty this is now and look how it's gonna be clean after I spray some of this special ingredient on there, how it's gonna clean everything up. Usually these mufflers, they always get hot and the mud splash up, it gets caked on. So these are the most impressive. You might have to hit it a few times to get it all cleaned up, but I'll do what it takes to make it look brand new again. Same here, that hitch, the little, the diff, that usually gets super white. Anything that's kind of aluminum looking or stainless, it's going to shine up real good. It's, I think that's cast aluminum or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to clean up these panels, pressure wash it. If you guys live in the northern states and you don't have a hot water outside, you guys are just missing out. That's all I got to tell you. We got hot water. We got our own well, so we don't pay for the water. It's right there. 
and let me show you the special ingredient. So you go down to Napa, right? You pick yourself up Max Aluminum Brightener. You get some of that stuff. No, that's not Febreze. That's actually where I'm going to pour that into there. I've been doing this for a while and put it in a place where no one will touch it, won't confuse it. Because somebody thinks that's Febreze, that's going to be a bad day. I don't know what's in this stuff, but this stuff is pretty strong. You might be able to lose your sense of smell if you're exposed to it too long. If it goes in your eye, it probably will blind you. That's all I got to say. Then I got a degreaser. I'm going to degrease everything. I'm going to hose it down. Then I'm going to spray this, let it sit a little bit, wash it off, see what it did. Then spray some more probably a couple times. I was going to set y'all up on the tripod and watch you guys in a time lapse me washing this thing. But the sound quality, I don't know how it's going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and just hit it, uh, pressure, rinse it off. And I'll show you what the results, how, how they're getting better and better. So let me put this camera down and get the pressure washer out and let's get to washing. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all wear your protection when you're doing this if you got a respirator or a mask i highly suggest you wear that wear gloves if you get this of any of your parts of your skin go ahead and rinse it off with hot water and soap and just clean it off because i've had it on my finger before it burns i'll tell you that much uh that's about it just be safe about it use it at your own risk if you have to read the directions on there just be safe wear eye protection and let's let's get this done let's see how this does so far it's the best product i've tried on on this dirty aluminum stuff so if y'all have any more suggestions put it up in the comments and i'll be sure to try something out if there's any company watching this and they want to send in some product for me to try out feel free to email me at big and fancy at yahoo.com or send me a comment and I'll send you my info. Thanks. All right, so pardon me for covering up my nose because this stuff smells and the wind is descending it. But I want to show you what it's doing. It's kind of eating at it. Once I rinse it off, you'll see. But you see how shiny this little part right there is? It's doing work, boys. I'll tell you that much. I sprayed on everything, the rims, the little shock things there. Let me show you on the winch. It might need a, like another spray or two. Rinse it off. It, it should clean this up. Hot water will also help it. Spray on the diff. Spray it all over here. It's eating all this stuff up. But once I get it all degreased and cleaned off better, you'll see the finished results. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and rinse it. All right, y'all. This was just a one-time pass. I sprayed it on. And look at this engine already. It doesn't even look like the same one, does it? Looks like I just went ahead and did an engine swap on this rig. But no, that is that stuff. See how dirty that hose is? Look how clean that one is. I just wanted to show you a little comparison there. I'm going to get in there a little better. I'm going to spray some more stuff on it. Let it sit. But just one spray, and it's really making a huge difference look how dirty that is i'm gonna spray that down too and try to get further back in there get everything all cleaned up there is a bunch of mud over here that built up i got that washed off it looks new i still have to spray down this hitch get some rust look at the exhaust i mean it's getting there i still got to spray some more on there let it do its magic but yes this max aluminum bright from napa know how really does work so i'm just doing a little tutorial i know there's a bunch of y'all out there that are wild and roger wheeler's like y'all stole them and that's why it's in this kind of condition but i like to take care of mine and if you if you wash it like just rinse it off every ride i mean yeah that's fine that's your wheeler your choice but once in a while you want to take everything apart off of it Give it a good cleaning, and it'll serve you a little better, I think. And even if you were to work on it, it'd be a lot easier to work on something clean than, than dirty. If you were to take it to a shop, 
they'll probably charge you a cleaning fee just for f y i also let, let me see what, what kind of other tech i can give you here's a little tip get you a yamaha pressure washer you know all of you guys that have been watching my videos know i like yamaha and i stand by their product yamaha's been good to me they make they don't just make wheelers dirt bikes snow machines boats jet skis they make pianos they tune the lfa exhaust on the lexus so yamaha big shout out to you guys you guys are what's up i got this thing brand new last season i used it all summer i haven't done a single thing to it other than get it a new water hose because the other one just just decided to have a little hole in it and spray everywhere but i'm gonna spray some more of this stuff get this thing all cleaned up put it in the garage probably patch up some of those cracks and i'll show you how i shine this thing up and make it look like new i'm gonna take these racks off and probably spray it down with some uh light duty bed liner just lightly coat it just make it look nice give it that texture or i might just spray it with black paint but i'm thinking the texture stuff i just probably will have to scuff it a little bit i was planning to spray it on the machine because don't really have anywhere to spray i was spray right now other than the garage and the smell is going to be in there all day can't hang anything outside or anything with this kind of weather so i'm gonna ponder on that one for a little bit also here's your tech tip of the day actually remembered when you have a wheeler and you go through mud make sure you go back behind here and pressure wash the crap out of your radiator because if you don't you got mud build up your machine's going to be overheating your fan's not going to be kicking on properly it's going to give you all sorts of problems and when you're out there in the middle of nowhere riding you don't want that happening to you so i'm gonna go ahead finish washing this thing up bring it in the garage and i'll just keep you guys updated how far we get with this thing today hope you guys are enjoying your weekend all right so i done finished rinse it up i don't yeah this thing might could get a little cl uh cleaner if i took all these plastics and shields off and really got into it but that's not what this video is about and that's not what i'm about to do today i just want to clean it up because i'm gonna work on it and i want this to show you guys what products i use and i forgot to mention on a degreaser it's just a uh, basic generic degreaser you can get purple power you can go to Lowe's, Walmart, Home Depot, wherever, and just grab something. Anything will help. It'll shine this up. It'll kind of get the break down the crud for you. You could use some uh, soap and hot water on top of this, but I'm not gonna do it because it's it's pretty clean for what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, the exhaust cleaned up a little bit, but. I guess it never washed and it's kind of rusted on a little bit. I could probably get it a little cleaner, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the garage while it's empty and get some work done on it, hopefully today. Keep you guys updated. But yeah, this is that form, man. It doesn't even look like the same wheeler anymore. Just what a difference the bath does to it. It's a little pressure wash, a little elbow grease you'll have you a clean machine also if there's some of y'all that are interested in how to buy sell and trade wheelers just let me know i could give you guys some pointers on how to get started but if i was to teach you the whole thing i could probably do like one-on-one -on -one session probably charge a little fee just because it'll take some time to teach you but yeah it's a lucrative business you can get in there you can make money depending on what area you are and what sells and what doesn't what dealerships you have close by but let's get everything cleaned up put it in the garage let it kind of drip get all this water off of it and let's see what kind of work we can get done on it today
What's up guys? It's Monday. I got a little update on this foreman I'm working on. So I decided to take this guard plastic shield off so I can get everything sanded down because I'm a bed line. These racks in the front and the back. The back are in worse shape than the front. But when I removed this, discovered some hidden damage. I mean, you would never know this thing was bent with this thing being on it. It's kind of like a, that being the actual bumper and this is being the bumper cover. If you're referring it to a car, it looks like, it looks like it's bent. It's been, I don't know, it's actually, yeah, it's pretty tweaked. It's all folded in. But I'm not gonna focus on wasting any more time with that. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up, probably take it back outside, really clean out that, uh, what is this? The radiator. My bad. Lost the words here today. Now I have this little bolt right here that just doesn't want to come out. It's loose, but it's not pulling off. I see, oh, I feel the mud caked on there. I think I have to put a, a size 10 behind there because there's probably a nut. Get this all removed. Go pressure wash it, bring it back in, tape it up and get to spraying. I had to fix a few weld spots. This isn't this wasn't my welding, but I decided to clean it up a little bit, make it a little better. I don't want to be rough. This is what I actually had to do some welding on. It was it was pretty cracked. This side is bent down using the Lincoln 140. And it's it's pretty beat to shit, but I'm just gonna I'm not even going to waste my time clean, uh, bending this out because this is just extend a rack. Whoever wants is going to have a next. It could be their choice to take it off. But in Alaska, usually a lot of people use these things because they haul coolers of fish in the summer or if they're hunting. Probably totes or whatever they're doing. Also, this, this wheel rubs back here. And I, what I'm thinking is it needs like at least like a quarter inch spacers or something or 0 0.25 millimeter and they should fix that problem but I'm gonna go ahead and go wash her up bring it back up mask it up and spray it I'll show you guys the end result all right folks so I done washed it up I scuffed the back one and I just got to do a little bit more scuffing in, in the front I'm gonna get it all dialed in I'm gonna degrease it and then we're going to be spraying and I'll put you guys in the time lapse and I'll show you what I'll be using. Stay tuned for that. Alright, fellas, gals, whoever's watching, this is the stuff we use, Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. It's it's a non-skid finish, it's not heavy. I got it all sprayed down. It's looking good, I got the heat on. I'm about to go get some lunch. Just having ate all day. And we're gonna come back and see if it's dry. If it's dry, we're gonna untape it and reveal what it looks like. I think it'll look pretty darn good. Yeah, I could have taken off the racks and sprayed it like that. Would have been easier if I had like a paint booth. But it is winter, it's cold out. So I had no choice but to do it this way inside. But no overspray as far as I know. But we'll see once we get it unwrapped. It's going to look pretty darn nice, I'll tell you that much. So y'all stay tuned, we'll get this puppy button up and hopefully y'all learn some from it. All right, so here is the finished product. You guys see how shiny it is? You just gotta condition it with some plastic conditioner, like something you detail your car with. It'll shine it up, it'll look, make it look new, especially these black plastics to get this oxidation on it. You spray it with tire cleaner, boom, looking good looking new let's look at that engine let me get that light for you 
Let me, let me, let me show you. Actually, here's a light. I'll show you how clean it is. I don't know. See, it's a little, still got a little dirtiness to it, but you don't want it too suspicious looking because this thing's obviously not in perfect condition. That part cleaned out pretty good. The racks look good. This thing is ready to go for sale. Actually, I already done posted it. So, I guess I'll go reveal the price. I picked it up for $2,600. Um, I'll attach the ad that I posted it in. Got it up for $4,250. And, yeah, hopefully it sells. It is windy. It is snowing again. But I'm sure the tax ballers are going to be out here soon. This thing should sell. I like when my village buyers come through. You just drop it off at the airport and it ships it out to them. But that's, the, that's that for this video. If you guys want to mentor somebody to help you out to get in this business, I'm going to attach my email address and feel free to email me and we'll get you set up. But thanks for watching. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, follow me on Instagram, all about good times and just get the inside scoop. But this is it. It's, this project is completed. I got a little few little things I'm going to do with it, but it's pretty much done. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a good day. Be blessed. Until next time.